here we have a Weller Powerhead model 6B, 120 volt AC, 150 watt. Um, that is from the Weller Tempmatic GT um, soldering gun that I have. And um, I've noticed this one is actually does not have a label on the bottom. So we're going to take it apart and see what's inside it. This is a, supposedly a temperature controlled soldering iron and it has these variable, these multiple replaceable tips. Um, this is one of the chisel point tips or the um, needle point tips um, such as it is. It's not a fine tip at all but it, um, and I have a chisel point tip as well. I've got a few of these that I picked up on eBay. Um, it's supposed to be a temperature controlled iron, but it, does, it doesn't list a temperature on it. So, um, there we go. And Okay, as I was just saying, um, it doesn't list the temperature on here, but I have this, um, the couple that are still in the package, and um, it actually lists the temperature on the packaging. Um, Something's beeping, and I don't know what it is. Okay, so it lists that it's a 600 degree, which is awfully high, um, because it says here, as it as it shows here, um, ejector button. This is obviously the gun. Um, you have the 7A power head, 700 degrees for general soldering, 600 degrees for delicate soldering. Um, soldering points of the power heads are premium plated to ensure long life, uh, which is the same thing that this little tag from the old cord said. Um, which they're they're iron plated. I wouldn't really call that premium, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah. So um, for delicate soldering work, I don't know what they consider delicate soldering work, but um, 600 degrees seems high. I don't know. Anyway. I'm not an electronics expert. Most of the stuff I work on is like 60 years old and you practically need a uh, acetylene torch to get the solder melted on it. Anyway, um, so here we have what's inside it. Not much. Um, again, not sure what this middle pin is for because in this particular gun it is not connected to anything. Um, see can we pop this yes we can pop that out of there that middle pin is connected to the outer casing of here it looks as though that is probably a ground pin which again we go back to our um, if you saw the previous video there was a um, ground symbol on the housing when I took it apart. So apparently a different model of this had an option for a ground. Um, but here is our um, neutral power lead coming in, going directly to the heater. Our um, other power lead coming in to this uh, what appears to be it's either a transformer or it is either a transformer 
or contacts. I don't want to take the tape off around the outside of it uh, because this is a good tip still. It does still work. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure, but that's the, your um, solid state temperature control unit. And um, this green goop on here, I, I'm guessing, just holds it on. And um, capacitor there for filtering, probably. And um, yeah, it all it looks it's clear. Looks like resin or something, epoxy or resin. Um, but yeah, not much to it, really. But yeah, not much to it, really. That's inside a um, Weller Tempmatic 6B powerhead. Thanks for watching. Okay. Now, um, not sure if you'll be able to hear this, but apparently that, um, those coils and stuff that we saw are actually a relay, because if you listen, when I'll, I'll turn this on and let it heat up, and you can hear it click on and off. very slight but you can sort of hear it hopefully the camera will pick it up so anyway yeah there we go that's a relay contactor in there um, and apparently there's a temperature sensor at solid state so um, what exactly is in there really I don't know um, if one of these tips ever dies on me I'll um, do a complete teardown on it but there we go Weller Tempmatic um, GT thanks for watching